it is officially Halloween time. It is spoopy season. Look, I decorated and I should be working on my last minute preparations for the cruise in my late 19 teens wardrobe, but yesterday was a bad day. Today, as a form of self-care, I want to do some procrastinations to make me feel better. I just kind of want to like do some like craft stuff that's not sewing, you know, that's like kind of like artistic and fun and not something that I normally do. I found this channel, his name is Christopher Heidemann and he does these really great like home decor, like holiday interior decoration, like little tutorials. And so I found his DIY pumpkin decor and it's like this really like rustic, like primitive folky, like jack-o'-lantern thing. I was watching him make it and I was like, oh my God, this is like really cool and satisfying. It also gives me like big over the garden wall vibes. So I've decided that what I wanna do is I wanna make some rustic pumpkins a la over the garden wall today and tomorrow instead of doing other stuff that I should be doing. Okay. Okay. I think I have everything I need to make two pumpkin lantern heads and we are going to make a lady pumpkin head and a gentleman pumpkin head, a farmer pumpkin head. And um, I bought stuff to make them little hats, but we'll get into that later. So it's probably a good time to get a word from our sponsor for this week's video, HelloFresh. Hello, sponsorship Abby here really quickly to tell you about the sponsor of this week's video, which is my favorite, HelloFresh. If you have never heard of HelloFresh, but you're on my channel, I'm gonna be a little bit confused because I have been working with HelloFresh now for over a year and I love them. They are the first carbon neutral meal kit in a box that makes really delicious, easy to prep meals for you and your whole family. My husband and I have been using them for a while now and they're great. I adore them. It's super easy recipes. They're super delicious recipes. And honestly, they have something from everyone, whether you're a vegetarian, pescatarian, you need something quick and easy, you want your meat and veggies, or you want something kid-friendly, there are so many options available with HelloFresh. So they don't just do dinners, like you can get add-ons to help basically supplement your entire week from breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack time. If you would like to give HelloFresh a try, go to hellofresh.com and use my code abbycox65 to get 65% off your order and free shipping. And with that, let's go finish decorating some pumpkins. And thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Look at this beater. The first thing we have to do is we have to prep the bowls. Um, and get them ready to be sat out uh, for 24 hours. And then what I'm thinking is, depending on how much time we have, after I get the bowls done, um, we can move on to start prepping some of the accessories. So uh, these are the bowls. I'm pretty happy with the size, because they're not like, they're, I think they're a good size. They're not like super huge. And nitrile gloves. I will link Christopher Heidemann's tutorial in the description so that way if you guys want to follow it like you can. This is not a tutorial. This is chaotic crafting. This could be a total absolute show. First thing we're going to do is we're going to mod podge the eyeballs, the nose hole, and the mouths. He does triangular eyes because you know that is our modern kind of jack-o'-lantern vibes but we know that in Over the Garden Wall they have circular eyes and the circular nose so that's what I'm going to do. Probably regret, regret this decision. Okay, so this is just like, we're just gonna like be crafty and free. And he's like, it's okay if it's, you know, a little rough and a little messy, like it's primitive, like that's the point. And I'm like, yeah, that's the point. My desire to like wipe my hands on my shirt is just really strong and I know that's not a good idea. I guess the nice thing about doing this is like, I fuck it up, oh well. 
So making the mouth and the eyeballs of the pumpkins, I needed to work on the hat for the farmer. So I shortened the brim and then I started to really just distress it by crumpling up in my hands, breaking up the straw to give it that really worn, well-loved hat. Look. I actually was able to find this hat at Michael's and it was small enough, it was kid sized, so it would work kind of better proportionally with the pumpkin head. Cool. Crumple, crumple. The one thing that he did that I did not do that I might come to regret is he shaped the mouth. I did not. I just was like, oh, I'll shape the mouth with the compound. It's fine. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Oh, this is satisfying. No! Leave me alone. You're not a good bee. Should probably do the the little cheekums. He does these cute little cheekies. All right, we're gonna take a big loop and we're just gonna swirl it because we're making chubby cheekies. Chaos, chaos. I'm glad I'm painting this because this bottom is <laughs> awful. <laughs> oh my god, my arm. <sighs> Jimmy. Can you come help me? I'm making arts and forts and crafts. Arts and forts and crafts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You need me to tape it down or anything? Um, or yeah, good. let's, I mean, the joint compound probably will act as an, it, actually, as an adhesive. So. Oh, my back is itching so bad. <laughs> really hope I didn't rub compound all over my shirt. Oh well. Oh my God, these circles are just like impossible. Impossible for a plain yellow pumpkin to become a golden carriage. Forbidden frosting gets a nice little crust on it. The five-year-old in me is like, I want to put this in my mouth. Hello, day two. We have things. I think they're dry enough. We had some almost accidents last night, but I think it's gonna be okay. Ooh. So I think it's time to paint. And I've put plastic down on, on my dining table because I really don't want my, my grandmother haunting my ass for ruining her dining table. So, you know, keep, keep the dead ancestors happy, all that jazz. I keep like crunching bits off because some stuff's kind of like sharp and I don't know if he, if he like sanded stuff, but anyways, it's <laughs> So Chris uses acrylic and chalk paint. So he uses red chalk paint, brown acrylic nutmeg, but I can find like nutmeg, orange paint, and then pure pumpkin paint. I, this is uh, orange spice, so I think this is also supposed to taste like what we think a PSL tastes like. Did I say taste or look? Anyways, another brush in case I need it. Did I use this as an excuse to buy a lot of shit from Michael's? Probably. Excellent self-control, my puppies. Excellent self-control. No, I might do like one pumpkin, like pumpkin orange and the other one a little bit darker just so that way they look a little bit like different than like fully identical. So let's just start with the Pure Pumpkin uh, Craft Smart Acrylic Paint. So this is also not the nice Shishi acrylic paint. Insufficient fuck. Paint pumpkins on YouTube, who would have thought? It does look like a pumpkin from the, it looks more orange orange from mine, but it looks like a pumpkin orange from you guys. It, it looks less offensive than what was in the bowl. I think we've established that I'm super burnt out with sewing because I've been sewing nonstop all summer and I'm kind of salty about it. We've got some home renovation stuff and home decorating stuff that I, I need to work on and I want to do. My stepsister volunteered my house for Thanksgiving this year. <laughs> Because she wanted to see it and I was like, well, okay. I need to get the dining room ready because Lily, I, you guys can, can't really see, but the dining room's like right there and there's no table in it. <laughs> I'm, I'm really trying to not buy new for this house. I, I'm really trying just to focus on buying vintage stuff or, you know, secondhand. That was a mistake. Should not have done. Oh, f oh, f um, should not have done that. The house in Reno was so straight out the box. Nevada does not have good antiquing, like at all, like at all. We've gotten rugs for the living room and we got a new rug for the dining room. So yeah, I have a rug for the dining room. I know what I want the dining room to look like. Every time I get a rug for this house and I put a rug down and it's like colorful and it's, you know, it has personality, like the house like, it's probably just me like 
superimposing my own mental health into the house, but whatever. The house like literally feels happier. Like it feels more cheerful. It, it like I can literally like the house is going like wee, I'm pretty again. Because like the people we bought this house from, like they really ascribed to the modern farmhouse sort of vibes. And so like everything in this house was gray, like all the walls are gray. I don't know, like the house just felt very kind of sad. You know, we have now plants everywhere and I'm trying to put in more plants. But then like the fern got like aphids, so she's out in timeout outside right now. Every time I've put something on the walls or I've put something on the floor that has like color on it, the house just literally perks up. All right, so we gotta do, we gotta do the face. Um, I do the big sweeping strokes first before I come in with a smaller brush. Despite politics, I'm so much more happier here in Indiana. Don't get me wrong, like, I loved Reno in so many ways, but I think just being closer to family um, has been extremely good for me. Don't get me wrong, I miss Nicole, I miss Millend. <laughs> and like, you know, I was like, and I have other friends there, like Kelsey's, oh my God, did you really just like chunk off? I think some of you guys like have picked up that I've been like just kind of dealing with some stuff and like, I don't know, being like a full-time content creator is really weird for your mental health. It's not that I don't love what I do, it's just, it's weird. Like it's just weird. I've been seeing a therapist for a few months now. Like I started seeing her like before we even like moved into this house and she's been great. I have a lot of hope for 2023, I think. We are gonna start live streaming here, which I'm really excited about. So probably like around Christmas time, um, maybe in November, it just sort of depends. My arm hurts now. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta paint the next one, but do we paint it pure pumpkin or do we add a little bit of spice? Let's find out. Oh, do we like this? I think we should, let's do it. There we go. We're getting our pumpkin on, pumpa. Pumpa's my favorite um, Swedish word. So I don't know what it says about me, but I feel like super rebellious about the fact that I'm not painting this pure pumpkin, even though Chris said to. A devil without a cause, you know, or rebel without a cause. Rebel without a cause, <laughs> whatever. This looks like Joaquin Phoenix Joker. <laughs> This is so bad. This joint compound got like everywhere because you know we were riding that struggle bus with those gloves. And yeah, it is a mess. She's very rustic. We love a rustic queen. The other one looks like great pumpkin nightmare. I don't know why, but damn, it's satisfying. That wet paint sound. I'm gonna turn it around. And pumpkin number two. Now, Pumpas have to dry. I'm gonna put these outside and let them just sunbathe. Here's the hat that I was like messing up yesterday. And I mean like it's, it's decently aged, um, but we need to make it more aged. I wanna darken this and then really be annoyed with myself that I gave them a round nose. I thought they had a round nose. Maybe some of them do? Well, let's not jump to any conclusions. Yeah, there are some with round noses. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is a little bit of black acrylic paint um, and some water to kind of make a wash and then go from there. Cause yeah, like straight brown's not dark enough. Honestly, I might just dunk it in coffee. We'll see. Plenty of coffee in this house. Pizza X, formerly known as Pizza Express, to me it'll always be Pizza Express. This is how I age myself. It's a local pizza place here in Bloomington that uh, is one of like the three main pizza options. And um, you know, it's the one that makes me the most nostalgic. <laughs> they had the best breadsticks. Also, like apparently breadsticks are very much like a Midwestern thing. Jamie was like, what? What are you talking about? I'm like, it's this literally bread. <laughs> in a stick form. Usually it has garlic salt with it. And he was like, 
is that it? I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, would you like some garlic knots? I'm like, no, I don't want knots. Of, I want sticks. It's kind of like our obsession with ranch dressing. Just tell me something more Midwestern than that. I'll wait. The hat is drying, the pumpkins are still out drying. So I figure the next thing that I can work on is the uh, lady bird's nest hat. I was hoping just to be able to cheat and find like a super clearance, like Easter wreath thing at Michael's, but I couldn't. But I'm gonna make a fake bottom for this. Um, glue Spanish moss into here. And this will become the thing that goes around and then like, we'll just glue that like down to one side. So they didn't have any eggs at all um, at Michael's. And so I went back and forth of like, well, do you make your own? The amount of money that I'm gonna spend, oh geez, um, like buying the supplies to make the eggs is gonna cost more than just spending $9 on fake lives. We are going to just paint these because they're good enough. Then we can cut out some cardboard for the bottom of the hat, glue gun that down, add some moss, make the thing that goes around uh, Mima's head, and then I think we'll be, oh, okay. Not be finished. We might make one egg today. <laughs> I'm gonna have to totally go and buy white paint. Spoiler, I, d I did have to go buy more paint. I did not have enough. But then I started making the bird's nest as well, cutting out the, um, what do we call it? <laughs> Baseboard <laughs> from the back of a sketch pad <laughs> to create the base of the bird's nest. And then I hot glued the wreath on top of it and then used Mod Podge to attach the Spanish moss to the <laughs> base as well as around the sides to kind of hide that seam. Super easy to do, really messy, just kind of let it go natural. And actually I'm really happy with how it came out. Oh, perfect, awesome. Haven't even started painting yet, but your girl has made a mess. It, it did it. There's one. The other. Okay, let's see. He adds like dots and stuff. So let's see what kind of like aesthetic pumpkin things we're gonna do. Oh, he didn't outline the mouth. Oops. He has some regret. So after the paint was drying, I needed to go ahead and Mod Podge the inside with brown tissue paper to kind of clean up the inside and give it a more complete look because you can see it's kind of rough looking on the inside. It was okay. It was kind of a pain in the butt because my hands are big and just kind of get my hands in there with the Mod Podge, it was messy. Then once that was drying, I needed to age the outside using Mod Podge and brown paint. And this is where I lost the plot. It's really gross looking. Looks like poop. Final thoughts, I'm too short for my mantle. Um, I think they're cursed. I don't know if I like them. <laughs> they follow you at night when you walk around the house. I don't know, I think Chris's tutorials was pretty good. There was some stuff that I was doing that I was a little like, oh, I don't know. Uh, like when it came to adding the brown paint to the Mod Podge, like I clearly added way too much because like you can see, really see the brown paint and like the, I had to repaint the black on this one's like uh, features to make them because they were basically gone. I apologize for what, whatever paranormal activity happens um, in Southern Indiana from here forward because I'm obsessed. Oops. Anyways, uh, I thought the 
the video was fun to do. You know, crafting was nice. I haven't crafted in a long time. I'm, I'm not very good at it, as you can see. Uh, so if you're thinking that you're gonna have some really cute, like Rachel Maxi like outcomes, you ain't. We're making cursed objects here. Uh, but <laughs> uh, maybe I'll do some more. I don't know, should I do this again? I have no idea, guys. Let me know in the comments below. If you do like hanging out with me uh, and making cursed objects with me, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, I upload every other Sunday. And with that, I'll see you guys back here next time with another video without the cursed pumpkin heads. <laughs> this is how the Headless Horseman started. I have, this is, this is Inkabod Crane's origin story here, the Headless Horseman. He scares me, she makes me uncomfortable. But that's vintage decoration, so what do we do?